Okay, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Today, oh god, today we are um, doing a little tutorial. Never done one before. But, uh, yeah, this is something new that we all need to discover. Now, this link that I'm going to be in the description. And, uh, oh yeah, I may have forgotten to tell you. This video is about how to connect a PSD controller to the PC and play every game. I will show you a little game preview when I'm done. Now, when you go into the description and you find this link, just come, you can read all about this if you really want to, it doesn't matter. Just come into this download link here. It'll bring you to this, this, um, git, github.com. Probably could just send you this link. Oh well. Um, and you just click SCP Toolkit Setup.exe. Then just wait for that to download. Mine is going to download right down here. No, it won't. It'll download to here. It's only downloading to there because I made it download there. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now just open the toolkit. Uh, just agree. And next. And no, this does not have any have any um, viruses. So, yeah. Don't worry about that. Click yes. And it pops up. Just wait for it to load. I'm going to be trying to do daily uploads. Starting Monday. This video is going to be out Monday. After I've edited it today. Rendered it today. If you hear that noise, that's normal. And then when the download is done, you just click Run Driver Installer. Just click Yes again. And just to show you that it works, again, I will indeed tell you, um, show you a game. Um, don't, this doesn't really matter at all, to be honest. Just click next. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, this does matter. At, when you get to the screen, plug in your controller. And, uh, if this is up here, if your device, PlayStation 3 controller, or PlayStation 4 controller, is up here, then you just come click initialize all connected devices as dual shot three to four controllers and then that'll come down here when it's down here you just click next if you have a bluetooth host you need to sacrifice a dedicated that will get used in wireless controllers only and that means um yeah just a bluetooth dongle plug that in when it's up here, if it is up here, click initialize. If it's down here, just click next. I don't have one, sadly. Well, I do have one, but I don't need it. Um, so then you just click uh, install virtual Xbox so you can 360 controller driver. Then just wait for that. When this pops up, it'll take longer than mine probably will. You can just close out of those. And then when, once you've done that, just come over to click next, click install Windows Service, boom, and then click next again, close down that, and then you're done. Click finish. All your stuff should be down here. So I'm going to just take that stuff, create a new folder, SCP tool, toolkit, Actually, no. I'll name it SCP Driver. Driver. There we go. Just copy all those. Chuck that in there. Come out of here. Um, I don't need that anymore. So let's just. Yep. Uh, you don't need to see that. And then let's come over here. SCP Driver. Now, when you're 
controllers plugged in, just come over to the um, monitor, double click monitor, and then that should open, just come over here, boom, and then it is working, if you want to like, just come over into settings as well, if you want to change anything, it's not really important, if you have DualShock 4, just come over here, if you DualShock 3, just come over here. Um, you will originally be over here with flash when charging or dying, but you could just disable them if you wanted to. Um, I came over to custom and I activated the lights 1 and 4, so now on my controller, I have the lights 1 and 2 flashing, well not really flashing, they're just on, and you can bring them up here, LEDs flashing thing. I don't recommend doing it, I forgot what it was at, oh well, stuff happens. You come into server settings, you can do anything you want for here, um, anything here as well. Anything here, it's not really necessary, I mean, just, if you create the folder, just click out of that, just come over into any game you feel like, I'm just going to play some Roblox. Um, and, um, just to show you that this works, I'm just going to play speedrun 4, why not? And then just click play. Now I, I, I have the controller in my hand and I'm ready to just jump. And just to show you that it works, here you see me jumping around and stuff. And then yeah, um, let's just do a little bit of gameplay. And just come, yeah. Sometimes it will just like, if you're going to be playing Roblox or something, um, it will just stop randomly. But that doesn't matter. See, I'm moving my mouse, and then I'm playing the game. Um, that dot in the middle of my screen just shows that I'm like playing and yeah and then you can just press start quit out of that now I'm back to my my mouse just quit out of that come into here open up settings ow and then just come over to devices and device devices and printers that's what it would be at first and then when you've installed the th the driver this will pop up and here that, that'll just pop up and w if you unplug it you'll get a little popping noise if you plug it back in you just have to press the PS button press the PS button and it'll work um yeah so Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video tutorial. It's a really quick one. I didn't have actually, I didn't actually have any much time at all to record this um, because I'm going out with my dad in a couple minutes. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, like the video. Uh, can we hit five likes? Five likes. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, subscribe. I already said that. Subscribe to be a part of the Dark Squad. See ya.